usually under what's called the Child Status Protection Act. Uh, usually, if let's say a U.S. citizen were to file for their minor child before turn 21, their age is logged in at the age, uh, the date of filing, as of the date of filing. So suppose a child is 20 when a parent, a U.S. citizen parent, applies for the immigrant visa petition, the I-130, their age will be logged in at 20, even if the application takes a year or two to process. So they will not age out. Now, when it comes to other categories, such as permanent residents sponsoring their minor children, then there's a CSPA calculation, which is done by USCIS at the time of adjudication to determine if the beneficiary still qualifies at the time of adjudication. That's typically done by calculating the following dates. It'll be the date of, they'll first yourself will look at the date of filing and the age of the beneficiary as of the date of filing. Then they'll look at as to how long was the petition pending with USCIS after it was filed. And finally, they'll look at the date on the visa bulletin when the priority date of the application become, became current for the purposes of either filing an adjustment of status application or processing it at a consulate. At that point in time, USCIS will then deduct the amount of time that the petition was pending from the age of the beneficiary and taking into account the date, the priority date became current. So if by doing that calculation, the beneficiary still is under the age of 21, that's called a locked in age, then they'll be able to proceed with the process. But if by that calculation, the beneficiary has exceeded the age of 21, then they will no longer be eligible under that petition. Or they may move into a, another preference category, which will then lower the time or lower their uh, preference in the list of categories that USCIS considers for processing. Thank you.